Hello and welcome to Unzi Talks, where I bring you one great book in two short minutes. And the book I'm talking about right now is Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway. Now, this novel is one that I recommend and value for two reasons primarily. The first one is its artistry and details, and I'll read you a passage um, that shows you that. And then the second is its um, emotional impact. So Emmy and Oliver, the title characters, are neighbors, and they were actually even born on the same day. Both of them are 17 now, but here's the hitch. When Oliver was in second grade, his father, um, his parents were divorced, and his father kidnapped him. Um, and so Oliver, from when they were eight years old, seven or eight years old, sorry, um, Oliver has not lived next door to Emmy and just disappeared, and people never really knew where he went. And so obviously Oliver's mother um, had... Uh, a, a very traumatic experience in her life and therefore it affected the whole neighborhood. Well, the book pretty much begins with Oliver being found and sent back home. So here's um, a little scene from the book where Emmy, who hasn't seen Oliver in 10 years, is getting her first uh, peek at him. Oliver's door opened and he stepped out. He was a stranger. Taller, broader, dark hair, just like my mom had said. He was glaring at the cameras as Maureen put her arm around him. Maureen had seemed smaller and frailer every day since that day Oliver hadn't come home from school, but next to her son she looked tiny. I tasted blood and realized I was biting my lip too hard. Kara was crying next to me, and Drew put an arm around each of us, hugging us tight. He was shaking. I think we all were. When Oliver looked up and over at us, I made a noise in the back of my throat. I hadn't seen him in ten years, but I had seen his face every night in my dreams. His little seven-year-old face that seemed way too young, and when his eyes met mine, I knew that it was him. He had the same frown, the same eyes, the same posture. So that's a great example of the artistry and details that's in the book. Um, and how the author kind of slows things down. But you do see this whole group of friends, Amy and, um, and Caro, her other friend, and Drew, they were all friends with this kid who just kind of disappeared for 10 years. Um, and so the whole book is really about the coming back together and the awkwardness of that, of this kind of group of friends that has had one missing for so long. So if this sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend it. Add it to your TBR pile, and until next time.